Thank you, Elena. I'm Alex. I use he, him pronouns. I'm really glad to be back on campus today. Two years ago at the Trans Day of Visibility event, I came out as trans to the world for the very first time. So thank you everyone for sharing this very special place with me. While writing my speech, uh, a song came on that I hadn't heard in a while, and I immediately knew that I wanted to share it with you today. This was my favorite song as a kid. I heard it for the first time playing Guitar Hero, specifically on the Nintendo DS. Anyone remember what that was? I played it so often that I didn't have to look at the screen anymore. I knew it all by heart. After school, when I had a rough day and come home crying, maybe I really struggled with a lesson or my classmates were picking on me, I go into my basement and I play this song and it encouraged me to keep going. It taught me that the next day was always worth waking up to, that no matter how hard tomorrow is, everything will be all right. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity to play it here with you all today. So here it goes. to be, 
of the beautiful places he'll travel to see, about the people he'll love and can't wait to meet. Then, in a more serious tone, I'll remind him he is strong and never alone. When the lights burn out and nobody's home, I'll be right beside him, us versus the unknown. Sadly, I can't travel through time. Young Alex will have to brave the journey without me by his side. Luckily, I discovered there were others like me, others who grew up feeling like a jigsaw piece in a world where puzzles didn't exist, who never saw themselves on TV or walking the streets, others the pictures seemed to have missed. In high school, a woman visited to share a presentation. She had gorgeous red hair and a purple floral dress. She shared her experience of transitioning and I felt the fire ignite deep within. She spoke of the feminist movement for gender equality, queer liberation, and the importance of trans voices. Walking out of that school library, my life had forever changed. Activism has grown increasingly important as I move through the world. Learning from people whose lives appear completely dissimilar to mine, only to find that the chains that bind both her and I demand the same key. I share my story today because I found my community, a collection of queer, trans, disabled, and loving humans who taught me I was never alone. They taught me family is bigger than those in my home. That who I am was never a choice, but to live authentically is. To wrap this up, I want to say thank you to the faculty at BIU for working tirelessly to plan these events, for fostering safe spaces, and for their contributions to the LGBTQI plus community, both systemically and personally. Thank you to everyone who fights for our rights and amplifies our voices. We are living in a world trying so hard to silence queerness, and anyone who stands beside us in this battle is an ally we need. And thank you all for stepping into this theater today. If you love someone who is trans, remind them. Every day we wake up is a day that we have won and you are not alone. Look around. These are your siblings. We are your family and we love you. I am your brother and I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alex. Your song was amazing, and thank you for sharing your music.